Okay, Scorpio. Welcome back, guys. I'm sorry I've been a little bit MIA. I've been trying a couple things with the channel, you know, doing some time stamp readings. And I've been trying to be a little bit more involved. But, of course, life, life continues, you know, apart from, you know, working and, and doing my channel. And I just kind of had to find my path a little bit when it comes to my spirituality. So I do apologize for the delays. Um, but I'm finally back and I'm going to be completely refocused with your messages, even if it's not on a daily basis, but it will be in a consistent basis so we can get clarity. I'm also gonna be um, adding more time to the videos, a little bit more information to the videos, just because I feel that if the video is longer than the eight minutes, it will ultimately, you know, give you more clarity that you desire, even if I'm not, even if I'm not posting on a daily basis. So trying something new here. Please, please be patient with me, guys. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. I love you all. And I'm trying to get back on a more consistent basis. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Let's see what is the overall energy, what is coming towards my Scorpio. Guys, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it, and there is no gender in tarot. Reverse the rose as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for additional clarity and messages regarding your situation. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see what are your overall energies with my Scorpio. Guys, keep in mind that these readings, these energies are for the next six to eight weeks max. So these things can, uh, these messages can definitely come towards you before the next six to eight weeks. Okay, so this is just an overall energy for the next couple of months. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Overall energies here for my Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? What is their overall energy here? I have a risk. Take the risk or lose the chance. That That is the question. Revealing. In the reverse, I have a gossip. And I also have a fatal event. Okay, and it's in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, miracle. Control in the reverse and moving secretly. Okay, and that's in the upright. So, uh, Scorpio, I feel that right now there's a situation at hand with you where there is... A big decision that needs to be made okay and as risky as this situation may ultimately be it has to be it has to be made okay things are being revealed to you okay things are being um, made known to you there's things that are are coming to you not only in the physical form but also in a spiritual form and what I mean by that is like through the 5d your dream state um even through music and synchronicities repeating numbers Things are just being revealed to you that the decision that you need to make as hard as it is, okay, as hard as it is, because it may even end up being a fatal event. It may be the ending to a relationship or to a company or to a business venture, whatever it is, it just needs to happen. And the reason is, is because control needs to be released, okay? There may be a lot of gossip surrounding the situation as well as what I'm getting here. Um, and you may not even be aware of it because it is in the reverse. It has not been made known to you. But there may be a lot of people around you just talking crap about, well, damn, did you see what Scorpio's doing? Or did you see that Scorpio and, and what's his face or what's her face aren't, aren't together anymore? Or blah, blah, blah. So people are just gossiping about the situation and you may not even be aware of it because again, you are so in tune or so in depth in what's going on right now, <clears throat> maybe even holding on to a situation that 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 needs to come to an end. You're you got you're trying to get control under a situation and you're not realizing that people around you are just clack 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 clack. Okay. So there's a miracle that's coming towards you, okay? Things will be balanced out things will fall back into place scorpio okay don't lose your faith don't be discouraged you know because sometimes i've been there where we've had those moments where you're like damn like i'm a good person why why can't i find work or why am my family struggling or why can't i find love or why is my parents sick whatever the situation is we get to those dark moments and we think to ourselves 
what's going on? Like, why, why does, why does my creator hate me? Why does God never look out for me? You're being told not to go down that dark path. Okay. Because everything that is happening in your life is happening for a reason. It's bringing in revelation and it's bringing in new opportunities for you. Okay. And even though you're at this point in your life where you just don't want to let the situation go and you don't want to let go, go of it or the control of it, it's time to release it, my love. It is time for you to let it go. With moving secretly here and divinely guided, this was all <clears throat> excuse me this was all this was all planned out for you this was all divinely guided for you okay you will be able to move away from this situation slowly but surely maybe even metacoli met 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 secretly or 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 yeah moving away from it secretly like um, methodically and that's what i meant to say i'm sorry methodically so there there's this energy of you you know ultimately getting the revelation getting getting the clarity and thinking you know what it's time for me to start moving away from from these people from this relationship from this employer it's time for me to start letting get letting go of or stop holding on to something that no longer serves a purpose for me for me okay some alone time some attraction in the reverse and shadow work it's time for you to really dive deep within okay it's time for you to dive deep within and start getting those those the, those clarities that you desire and you require okay because i feel that for for a lot of us you know after the last what two three years of of the world being upside down and everything that we've been through there's a lot that we all kind of harbor or hinder or hold within that we really didn't let go of or we we have not been able to resolve and and now is the time for you, Scorpio. The time is here to start doing that shadow work. You are gonna have to spend some time alone, okay? Um, with attraction here, I'm I'm looking at attraction in the reverses. You may have to even go into hermit mode and kind of stop going out and doing certain things and attracting uh, additional energies because it's, it's you have to come to some type of shadow work, some type of resolution. There's some there's some karmic situations in your in your life that needs to be resolved already. Okay, you've been dealing with people that play a lot of work. I mean, play play a lot of games. What am I saying? Or work a lot. May that may even be you. Okay, but th that play a lot with your emotion. That play a lot with with your mind. And it's time for you to start getting away from these these people. Okay, there's a lot of wear and tear in a relationship here where there is a lot of indifferences with you and this person. You and this person have not been seen eye to eye for quite a bit in order for you to get to this celebratory energy to may even get an apology from whoever whomever it is that you've been uh, wanting to get an apology from you need to do the work okay you need to do the shadow work there's things that need to be removed and cleared in your life such as realigning your chakras becoming grounded letting go of spiritual karmic negative energies okay just really focusing on you and and clearing out what no longer serves a purpose for you if you don't do this and you don't pay attention to this you're going to be waiting here for the rest of your life okay youthful in the reverse and waiting yeah you're, you're going to be here forever waiting for an apology that's never going to make its way towards you because one you have not cleared out any karmic cycles or any negative energies so in order for you to get what is divinely guided for you scorpio it is time for you to go hermit it is time for you to go go in on, on your own and start getting some things within you resolved it is time for you to start letting go of some people places and things that just don't serve a purpose for you because it's time to for a transformation for you shadow work transformation it is just time for you to go within and get things get things real situated for you okay universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is the overall energy here for my scorpio what is the overall energy for my scorpio what's going on with my scorpio eight of swords energy in the reverse scorpio and it's being made clear as day okay there are some situations from your past that you must ultimately resolve okay there's things that, that has happened not only to you but to all of us that we obviously cannot go back and get, get fixed, okay? There's some scenarios that just cannot be fixed. Some relationships that will never be mended and that's got to be okay. You got to be okay with that. That there may never be communication with you or with someone here from your past. You got to you gotta be okay with it's time for you to close that chapter and walk away from situations because you got to be able to balance things out. You got to grow from those experiences here with the seven of, uh, seven of Pentacles in the reverse. The more you hold on to past experiences and past situations, my love, the more you hinder your growth, okay? The more you hinder your growth and the more you, you, you stay stuck in situations that just are not divinely guided for you. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, overall energies here for my Scorpio. What is coming towards them, please? You got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. 
And you also have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Scorpio, you may be waiting for somebody here to come towards you and apologize. With the apology card, once again, in the reverse, okay? You've been waiting for someone to come towards you and make amends and resolve a situation with you with the Five of Swords energy. But let me be honest with you. This person can't come back towards you, can't resolve this situation because there's too many barriers and too many blockages, okay? The work has not been done. The healing has not been processed in order to allow this person to come back in, okay? So whatever it is that you're going through, Scorpio, whether it's a personal relationship with a friend, maybe even a family member, a husband, a wife, a lover, whatever it is even an employer okay a business partner you got to get over some type of hurdle and blockages here to be able to get past this okay to be able to allow a new beginning here it's time for you to walk away from people places and things that just don't serve a purpose for you and close out those nine of swords energy as i told you there's a transformation that is needed in your situation scorpio in order to be able to move forward and really achieve this celebratory energy, this this new success, this new beginning. You have to transform. There's, there's a lot of forgiveness that has to be given. And even if you can't speak to this person face to face, you just got to forgive them spiritually. You know, understand that this person was not the person for you and they did wrong by you. And that's okay. It's time to let it go. Forgive them and forget them. Okay, don't hold on to those energies anymore because I feel that the more you hold on to to what you can't control in the past, the more you hinder relationships that are trying to come in, opportunities that are being presented, the more you don't allow those beautiful new beginnings in. Five of Cups energy in the reverse. It's time to let go of the sadness. It's time to let go of depression. And it's time for a transformation. You definitely need to really go within, shadow work, transform. Because look at what you have ahead of you. After after you've completed your process and after you've you've healed from whatever it is that you've been working on, you bring in a new beginning. Okay, you bring in a new beginning and love, a new opportunity that you're going to be completely happy with, completely in love with. Whatever it is that, that you've been wanting here, my beautiful Scorpio, you're about to become this pre-empress, this nine of pentacles energy. So this is a message. You, sometimes you, you guys may even think to yourself, why can I get past these burdens? Why can't I lose weight? Why can't I succeed at this why are my relationships like this and it's because you have not done a transformation you have not done a shadow work process you haven't healed from something from the past and this is where your spirit guides are telling you they're yelling at you scorpio stop it you want something then you got to do the work for it it's time for you to stop holding on to the past and past people and past situations start healing from that Become this beautiful, abundant Queen of Pentacles energy. Start nurturing yourself and start working on your healing process. If you want these new beginnings, they're waiting for you. They're literally our arms, arms, arms reach ahead of you. All you got to do is reach out and grab it. But because you got these blockages, you can't seem to get through the blockages to be able to touch your new beginnings. So it's time for you to start working within yourself in yourself on yourself okay and you know a lot of this has to do with the mental emotional and even the physical aspect because i'm telling you from personal experience when i gain more weight things end up just kind of going sideways for me i don't feel spiritually inclined i feel completely lazy i, I don't do certain things but when i go back to the gym not i'm not a gym rat but in any way shape or form but when i go back every, at least every other day i'm i'm pepped i'm doing different decisions i'm doing different things and that may be ultimately something that you need to start doing here scorpio what are the final messages for scorpio universe archangels spirit angel guides god i don't even know i don't know what else to tell you scorpio but it's time to rest and rejuvenate. This message is going to hit home with a lot of you guys, okay? You've been in this place where you're like, what the F? I can't get past this. I can't get... I can't find my the right job or the right relationship. Or why does my damn car keep on breaking down? Why am I always short of money? Because spiritually, my love, you're completely imbalanced. You're completely imbalanced. Okay, you got to get back on the right path spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Once you reclaim all four of those areas in your life, boom, 
things become evident. You become this queen of wands. You start seeing all this fast forward movement, the relationships, the opportunities, your wish fulfillment will all be presented to you. But again, it's once you get everything aligned, once you get on the track that you need to be on. Right now, my beautiful Scorpio, you're on I-57, an expressway over here in Illinois that goes to bumfuck Egypt. You need to get back on the one that's going to take you straight to the city and take you straight to where you want to go or the suburbs, whatever it is that you want to do. But you need to get back on that highway and you're completely over there alone with, with one or two semis. You need to bring your, your butt back over here. So you got to get yourself realigned, okay? You got to get yourself refocused here. And if it, if it means cutting off certain relationships and friendships, then so be it. So be it because at the end of the day, you got to live with yourself. You got to live with your skin. You got to live with what's going on with you. Everybody else around you, it, they can come and they can fucking go, but you can't go nowhere. You're stuck with you. So you got to be happy with you and what's coming towards you and what you can ultimately have. Okay? All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to, to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.